on many waters. That's some pretty ugly descriptive language. The judgment of a great whore that sits on many waters. Waters here stands for people. As the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has taught us. And these waters that the great whore sits on represents the power that she has over many nations and many people. Now, this whore with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of the names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and bedecked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her forehead was a name written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth now the honorable Elijah Muhammad has said and that this woman dressed in purple and scarlet color sitting upon a scarlet colored beast mm. with seven heads and ten horns is referring to Rome Rome was built on seven hills and this church that sits like a prostitute. That's what John the Revelator referred to him. And this is also what Martin Luther wrote when Martin Luther broke from the church. Martin Luther saw that great poor as the Pope. No, I, I, want, I want you to think today. Dressed in purple royalty, sitting on a scarlet colored beast. He is a beast supporting the prostitute. And the whore sits on many waters. She has power over many people, but she holds a golden chalice and in it is filth and abominations of the earth. Oh, that's a heavy indictment of the so-called church. What have you done? What have you done? You have used God's name as a shield to practice dirty faith, dirty religion in his name. It came out of Europe with a cross and destroyed the peoples of the earth and brought the peoples of the earth into subjection to the image of Caucasian people. Come on now. The great Roman Emperor Constantine who became a Christian originated the sign of the cross with a snake 
wrapping itself around that cross and the Latin words in hoc signo win case in this sign or with this sign we conquer and with the cross they went into Europe Africa Asia and they gave people religion and took away the freedom the justice the equality the raw materials of the darker people of the earth talk to me yes, with the cross they slaughtered the native people in the western hemisphere murdered the Carib Indians enslaved the blacks in the name of Jesus you were heathens and unworthy to be looked upon as an equal to white people so the church made you a nigger listen to me not the church of Jesus Christ but a false church operating in Jesus name and every one of us that have believed in that false church are like people committing fornication with her you're laying down with a whore and the whore is not teaching you good manners or good morals you are a funky filthy low down people that have been made that way by your so-called Christian masters is in the church you are not a people that Jesus can accept you are unworthy of Jesus do you think that Jesus would accept you coming to him dressed like a harlot with the heart of a harlot to me do you think Jesus would accept you as a lesbian you could come to him like that but you can't remain like that and stay in the favor of Jesus not the Jesus the true Jesus of the Bible and Holy Quran no sir do you think Jesus will accept you singing songs in the choir songs of hope but a homosexual a wine bibber a coke user come on now hell no hell no maybe the church will accept you but Christ condemns this crap that's going on in his name a mystery Babylon full of abomination and filth she's the mother of whores Babylon that wicked city her merchant ships went to all the ports of the earth in her were the Jews and she mistreated the Jews the Hebrews and because of her mistreatment of them one day there was some handwriting seen on the wall and these words mene mene tikel yufasin meaning your kingdom has been weighed in the balance and found wanting this is America 
she does some good things. I won't say that she doesn't. But she's low down and filthy. You will accept her because she's made you like she is. You are not even qualified to even say what is good anymore. Because you judge good by what is good to you personally. And if America lets you carry on your filth and your foolishness, she's good. <laughs>